Zidok over there? Huh. Is it just Paimon or are there fewer people than usual here today? Ah. Seeing you at this time must mean you've already saved up a lot of credit coupons. Or at least enough to skip work. <laughs> Seems you're getting into the swing of things around here. Impressive. Very impressive. So, now can you tell us about the hidden rules you know? Hmm. If that's what you want to know, I guess you couldn't have come at a better time. Huh? What do you mean it's a good time? Leonid and those other pesky broke urchins have all gone to work in the production zone. I wouldn't want them listening in without paying up. We get it! Just tell us already! So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Even if you manage to avoid the guards, you might find something even more terrible there. Something even more terrible? Like what? A group of cannibals. Whoa! Cannibals? In the fortress of Meripede? Okay, you stunned that Every really month, good. they meet a few times in the dead of night. Rumor has it they might be connected to the people that have disappeared here. But what's even scarier is that they have a special proclivity. Since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. by other forms. So that's what's going on here. Oh, Paimon's stomach doesn't feel so good. <laughs> you two look pretty skeptical. No matter. Learning the truth behind dark secrets isn't necessarily a good thing. I've got things to do too. I suggest you just act like I never told you anything. Traveler, can we just trust him on this one? Oh, Paimon doesn't want her blood and flesh entombed here for all eternity? Oh, so that's how you see the situation. Huh. You know, Paimon does feel a little better about it now. <laughs> when will all the secrets end? I'm with you, Del Paimon. Hmm. Vidok isn't here. But the guys who went to work in the morning are back. Let's go ask them! <sighs> Just stay away from me. What? What are you saying? You shouldn't go around saying stuff like that. What are you talking about? Listen, you should keep your nose out of other people's business. Hmm. Their attitude sure is suspicious. Like they're trying to avoid us. about acting weirdly. Do you think they might just be trying to lure us in? Oh, this is all getting way too creepy for Paimon. So you mean we still need to investigate some more? Okay, if you say so. Hello, Fielding. What do you want? Criminals like you ought to be working right now. Catch my drift. We just want to ask you a simple question. Have you ever discovered anything odd during your nighttime patrols? Why are you asking about something like that? Whatever happens at night isn't your concern. All you need to worry about is getting enough sleep. Uh, well... Right! We heard it happens 
a few times every month. Paimon has sensitive ears, so it makes it hard to sleep. Really? I see. Uh, but it's not like I'm on duty every night. And now that you mention it, I recall my colleagues talking about something like that before. They say that strange things tend to happen at night on pipe cleaning days. Lots of us don't willingly take those shifts. So, what happens at night on pipe cleaning days? They just conduct regular cleaning of the fortress's drainage facilities. There are three pipe cleaning days per month, and it just so happens that today is one of the scheduled days. You can try to confirm the sounds tonight if you want, and if they're real, then I can report the issue to my superiors for you. Oh, okay. Then we'll keep both ears out tonight. Now, if that's all, then I'll be leaving now. I advise you not to try anything funny, though. Even if I'm not on duty tonight, someone will still be watching you. Don't worry, we don't want any time added to our sentences. <laughs> Oh, he left. So what do you think about the pipe cleaning days he mentioned? Right, both are a possibility. But Fielding did say that tonight is a cleaning night. Paima knew you would say that. Alright, sounds like we'll be up all night tonight then. Paima just hopes the guards don't catch us. Why do I feel we're gonna sneak around? I can sense another mission. Metal Gear, sorry. This game wasn't made for stealth missions. Just another gimmick to add. She dozes off. Paimon's worried something might happen if you go alone. Huh? Traveler? Did you fall asleep already? Don't tell me we have to wait. Oh, another vision. What is that? Oh, come on, game. Is that the whale song? Traveler, come on, wake up! Oh, it looks like you were just peacefully sleeping, the Paimon. Well, what did you see this time? Really? So we're finally starting to figure out what actually happened! What about the cannibals? How do you explain them? Okay, well it's about time for us to get moving. Just be careful to avoid the patrolling guards. Wait, you're not gonna activate the stealth mode? <laughs> I'm 
Aren't we supposed to press the notes? Oh, come on. Bad thing about this. What? I know you. You were the ones we saw. Huh. You've got guts showing up here. You know who we are, right? You'd better leave now. Ain't nobody coming here to save you. What you say? Yeah, so what if they were? If you push us, we can make those rumors a reality at any time. Hey, what's the point of all those rumors anyway? What exactly are you trying to do? I don't have to tell you anything. If you turn around, go back to the dormitories and act like you never saw anything, then I'll pretend that you never showed up here. Yeah, scram. Nothing worth seeing here. Huh? What did you say? Isn't that exactly what Boss said when he left? Hey, do you know our boss? Whoa. We had no idea our boss was such a big deal. He always kept his identity a secret. So, did he have you come here to find us? Oh, so your child's crew here? Seems like he had no problem fitting in. We're the only ones who heard him say those words when he left that night. So unless he somehow told you those exact same words after that... Hmm. All right. I guess that's proof enough for me. I believe you. Wow. Those dreams of yours sure come in handy. We gave him the business for a while and always give him a hard time when he first came to the Fortress of Maripede. But here in the Fortress... The strong will always earn respect. He was working the longest hours and racking up wins in the Pancration Ring. He could always see how amazing he was, even when he was teaching us a lesson. So eventually, we all decided to follow him. But one day, he suddenly told us that he had to find a way to escape this place, no matter the cost. He said it was because he heard that call again. And as his crew, if the boss wants something, and it's our job to get it done. So, we got to work and use the hidden rules that were here to make up and spread the rumor about the cannibal rule. We just wanted to give him a better chance of escaping on a night after the pipes had been cleaned. Oh, thanks to your rumor, nobody would want to come anywhere near here, prisoner or guard. Wow, it sure is easy to exploit people's fear of the unknown. But has a child already escaped? Why are you all still coming here after pipe cleaning day? Because as far as we know, the pipe he went into isn't actually an exit. It should be a dead end. It leads to an abandoned factory area, and even if there were a way to escape from there into the sea, we're still way too deep. No one could ever reach the surface alive. But Boss still insisted on going in. It's like he was obsessed about it. So we told him that we'd pretend as if he never existed while he was gone. And that if he wanted to come back, he should wait for night time on a pipe cleaning day. That way, we could meet him here and help cover the whole thing up. So you come and wait here through the night a few times a month just because of that promise? Yeah, but it's been so long now. We already know in our hearts that he must have managed to escape somehow. Uh, is it also possible that something unfortunate happened to him? Nothing could ever defeat Boss or slow him down. That's one thing we know for sure. Okay, okay. That's his favor. Brainstorming possibilities. Alright. Keep quiet and follow us.
The way up from here has been sealed off. It's impossible to get through. Boss left by going down from here. It uh, wasn't full of water at the time. Later, we came back, hoping to have a look. That's when we found out it had been completely flooded. It's impossible to navigate unless you're an extremely skilled diver. Do you think Child got trapped by the water? Not likely. We all know that Boss was an incredible swimmer. Oh, so now she's gonna come for Feminacious so. Oh, Really? Then have him come investigate, pronto. Just be sure to tell us if you get any news about Boss. It's getting late. We should leave before the guards come this way. Yeah, we learned a lot about what happened to Child here. Let's get going! Uh, now we have to grab that uh, Fontaine sibling and let him dive there. Oh boy. I have like four hours of footage and I almost forgot why they were here. We finally learned some key information. Seems all of our investigative work has finally started to pay off. When you said you knew a diver, you were talking about Fremine, right? If we ask Linny, he'll definitely have Fremine help us. Ugh. Why is Child like this? What was he doing going into the pipes? Not making our jobs easier, that's for sure. Fortunately, though, it seems like it's only a matter of time now before we find out what really happened. Now that we can finally relax, Paimon's starting to feel super sleepy. <sighs> Let's try to get some rest while we still can. Nighty night, Traveler! Oh, you sofa! Uh, it's morning already? It's the same thing, but hey, is the chapter over? Hmm, I don't know why, but I feel like Genshin may be rushing too much this story because hmm, but what do actually the story ends here? Maybe there was a mistake to put two story chapter. I mean, it's still gonna be all the story. What's gonna be the difference? I feel like this is gonna be something else. Let Paimon see what's written on it. Maybe you haven't heard, but today is the monthly free day. Everyone has the day off today, which makes it the perfect time to do some investigating. A it's free been day? a while since we last talked. Have you been making any progress lately? Let's meet at our usual spot in the factory area before lunchtime. I have new information. Ooh, today's our lucky day! We have the day off! From the sound of it, Lenny's been making progress with his investigation. Wonder what he's discovered? Hmm... We still have some time before we meet up. Let's talk with the people here for a bit more before we go! And we start the next chapter in. <sighs> But do for some complication to say, I have to take a little break from recording. So I'm gonna see you in a moment. Or maybe this is gonna be the end. So aloha and see you very soon. And we're back with more Genshin. Man, this was a long, long chapter. Hey, you over there? Okay, who is this now? How many NPC you're gonna introduce? Yeah, you! Say, do you like playing card games? You know, like Genius Invocation TCG? You TCG players are like mint in the wild! Literally sprouting up everywhere! Hey, come on now. What's wrong with finding fellow Invocation aficionados? Anyway, care to join me for a game? 
Oh, thank you. This is not mandatory. Ah, all right. No pressure. But why would you be looking for people to play Genius Invocation in a place like this? Don't people usually come here to fight? <laughs> Whether you're throwing down cards or throwing punches, it's all a competition, isn't it? It's all the same in my eyes. There are lots of card players here in the fortress. When I saw you, I immediately thought, hey, even outsiders from other nations play cards. So I came over to say hi. Why just now? Sure. Great! Since you've been here longer than us, you need to flex your seniority a little bit, right? Maybe you could start by telling us newcomers some stories about this place. I thought you would have already heard everything by now. All right, then. Did you have anything specific in mind? Or do you want me to just pick a topic? Why don't you pick? We'll let you know if we've heard it already. All right. Have you heard any strange rumors since you've arrived? Then did you know that there are some people who are always gossiping over in the corner? There are two guys who are always skulking around in the corners of corridors gossiping. The bigger guy is Quisto, and the skinny one is Lavarun. People call them the Bombshell Bros. The what? I never really found their gossip very mind-blowing. And it's pretty much just the same stuff that I hear about when I'm at work every day. If you're interested, you can go talk with them. They tend to talk a lot of nonsense, but they aren't exactly bad. Hmm, good to know. Do you have anything else to tell us? Hmm, let me think. Sounds like you want to hear something a little more tantalizing. Oh! Did you know that the Duke was also a convict in the Fortress of Meripede before? Huh? Wait, are you serious? That's right. The Duke was an inmate just like you and me. Seems he was exiled here for committing some crime. Who knows how he ended up rising up to become the Warden, though. I feel that's gonna be for his story quest, I think. Right? I think... New Millet and him is gonna get a story guys after this. To go from an ordinary inmate to becoming the manager of the whole place? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda respect that. A forbidden zone? Hmm, sounds like something that someone just made up. I've never heard of that. Where did you hear about it? That's just a rumor we've been hearing, but no worries if you've never heard of it. Do you have anything else you can tell us? Anything else? Hmm, not that I can think of, but I'll be sure to tell you anything interesting I hear next time. You'll have to play a game of Genius Invocation with me first, though. To be honest, I didn't play much of the TGG cards because I just only did it just to get the Lisa card and the other Electro cards. I think I have all the Electro cards. Boats anyway. are made for transferring commodities back and forth, and those that come across... Look! There are some people talking over there! Let's listen in on the conversation! And if you ask me, those pompous parasites on the surface act like they're all a bunch of aristocrats. Do any of them give half a hoot about a bunch of dogs like us? Hey, speak for yourself, mate. I'm no dog. Oh, you think you're special or something? If you're here, then you're just a convict like the rest of us. I've heard that even if you're released after serving your sentence, going back to life on the surface ain't any better. Once a criminal, always a criminal. We're marked for life. Uh, I don't buy that. Hey. How cool would it be if the whole world was destroyed by a giant flood and everyone had to start over from nothing? What kind of filthy bilge water are you spewing? I have family up there. You best shut your sewer hole with talk like that. Listen, things ain't so great on the surface, but who says that you have to leave? I've heard that you can still stay here and work even after you've served your sentence. Not bad if you ask me. 
Who wants to live in the ruddy overworld anyway? <laughs> and what makes you think they'd want to hire someone like you? <laughs> it's one of the great mysteries of the universe, how someone as useless as you is so confident. Whoa. Sounds like they're really unhappy about the overworld. Speaking of which, Paimon never heard anyone use the words overworld or underworld when we were living up there. Is it only something the inmates down here say? No, that comes from a game that you may have heard. It's called Sarah. Sarah. That's true. There's a group of people over there. Let's go listen in. So I said, that's not a faucet. Hey, hey, who are you two? Why'd you come over all of a sudden? Oh, uh, sorry for eavesdropping. Sounds like you were talking about something private. Uh, what's the matter? <laughs> They're just looking to join in on our fun, that's all. Hey, don't pretend like it's okay for them to just interrupt us like that. Yeah. <sighs> Fine. You're lucky we don't mind extroverts that much. <laughs> really? <laughs> you hear that, Quisto? What nice! Your expressions tell me you're looking to hear some juicy info, am I right? <laughs> but before that, it just so happens that I know you two. Really? Are we that famous? <laughs> you kidding? How often does anyone get a personal tour led by His Grace himself? Practically everyone was talking about it. Word has it that you also caused quite the kerfuffle. That's how you see? A little mistake, huh? I like the way you put it. You see, people with a good attitude can join our group anytime. Unlike some of the others here. Your group? I'm Quisto, and this is Labaroon. People usually call us the Bombshell Bros, but don't worry. We're not playing with bombs or anything. It's just that our information is always so explosive, and we blow minds on the regular. So, you two really like to gossip? Whew, you sure know how to embellish. No, no. You don't get it. Knowing intelligence will make things better for you here. For example, knowing who's working with whom. Who has the latest rumors? Who's not getting along? Wouldn't you like to know all that? <laughs> okay. Whoa, all this info's worth something, you know? You should prove you're worthy of it. I don't mind him. Quisto's always this way. Just play nice and say something to massage his ego. The welfare meals. Talk about the welfare meals. Right, right! That meal we had yesterday was super delicious. Paimon can still taste it whenever she closes her eyes. Is that so? <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've been helping out with making those welfare meals. I've been working as a kitchen assistant for about a month and a half now. Oh, so you're the one who made those delicious steaks. Amazing! You could be a professional chef! You are correct. I am a true professional. In fact, I even went to culinary school. But enough about that. Since you like my cooking, I guess that means we share similar tastes. Listen carefully. This little bombshell will help you learn what's really going on here in the fortress. Listen, kids. The power structure within the fortress is quite complicated. The overworlders couldn't care less about us down here. We're basically dogs to them. You've already met the one person here you should never cross, the Duke, Risley. He knows more than you think. And if he doesn't care about something, then he often doesn't bother dealing with it. Those who have the Duke's attention get all kinds of special perks, even better treatment in the infirmary. I know who you mean. It's that Jurier character, right? Huh? I don't think there's anything useful about him at all. 
Why does he visit the infirmary practically every day? Is it normal for anyone to be going in and out of there so often? If you ask me, he's just faking it to get out of work. But did you know that Churia was a talented researcher from the Fontaine Research Institute before he came here? There's no denying that. I don't care if he was a researcher that could turn dirt into Mora. Once you're in the fortress of Meripede, you're just another inmate like everybody else. Speaking of which, the last time I saw him, he was passing by in the corridor with Lorveen. I also heard they started arguing in the library and got into a fight. This right? a library? Guess that's just how terrible of a guy he is. You mean he hit a woman? Wow, I never imagined he was that bad. But that Lorveen's also quite the odd one, you know? She's always gabbing away, got into a fight with a man, and she also got sent to the infirmary. Come to think of it. I always see her going to the sick bay every couple of days, too. Huh. Wait a second. You don't think. Do you think it could it be that they're secretly meeting there to go on dates? Ah, but it's really hard to imagine. <laughs> After all, I do remember seeing Lorveen beat Jerrya to a pulp that one time. And we might be overthinking things. Another two NPCs. Okay, we've talked to just about everyone, and it's about time for us to go meet Linny. According to the card he left us, we should go meet him in the production zone. 